Greetings, Pisces. Greetings, cross watchers, y'all. I'm gonna do a reading, okay? A general reading for the collective sign of Pisces. Let me get my spray. Um, let me get everything together. I hope y'all in good energy. Hope y'all feeling amazing. Um, thank you to everyone who has been enjoying and watching the readings all the way to the end. I appreciate you all so much for that. Okay. So Pisces, we're going to go ahead and get into a general reading for the month of October. And I'm not going to even mention the placements of the moon, the natal chart, anything. I mean, I'm sorry, not the natal charts, but the moon. I'm just going to cut, take whatever comes out and I'll do a little uh, detailed reading for my Pisces um, for October, de October, November, and December. Okay. We're already in October, but I'll still do one. So I'm going to start off with the Moonology deck and you'll see the readings as they come out. So make sure that you do have your notification bell on. Make sure that you have that you put your settings to any uh, channel that you're subscribed to that you get their notifications because there's like a three step process you have to go through. Even if you have your notification bell on, um, sometimes you just won't get that I've uploaded a reading, okay? So make sure you're constantly checking daily, you know, just come to the channel and see if um, if I've uploaded something, okay? And sometimes I will wait two, three days just to kind of let you all get what you need to get from that last reading or previous readings. And, um, and then I'll go ahead and upload another reading, okay? All right. So a personal issue reaches resolution. And this is full moon and cancer. So that cancer energy is like the cancer rules the fourth house. And it has a lot to do with your home life. It has a lot to do with uh, what feels like home, what makes you feel safe, secure, um, what you want to hold on to, what means the most to you, um, what you feel like you need to protect. Okay, so there's something in your life that's going to meet, that's going to reach some sort of personal resolution here okay and at the bottom of the deck it says don't let pride get in your way full moon and leo all right so we're gonna start with that there could be a situation where you have to kind of put your pride aside pisces maybe that's hard for some of you all to do um I'm looking for something. That could be something I'm just trying to put my stuff up. All right, Pisces, so let me see what this reaching a personal resolution is about, because there's something that may be going on in your life where you're kind of hoping that something sort of resolves itself. You've put your all into it already. You've kind of said, okay, I put my all into this. I don't know what else I'm able to do to transform this situation and to make it into something better. Um so I kind of feel like there's something where you're just letting the divine, you're letting the universe uh, kind of do its own thing. This could have something to do with your personal emotions. I kind of feel like something is more spiritual. <sighs> that's the energy I'm getting. You know, when you're dealing with something that's spiritual, we want to be able to control it. But it all it puts us in a vulnerable place that we that may feel a little uncomfortable because we can't necessarily control it. It's what's meant to be. 
you know? So I, this is, it's something that I feel like you wish you could have more control over something, the outcome of a situation in your life. Um, but you're realizing you have to relinquish that control and let things happen the way it's supposed to naturally happen. And this could definitely be where this don't let pride get in your way comes into the picture because maybe you're good at making things happen. Okay. You're good at, you're like, okay, I'm going to, so for instance, if you're in a situation, you're like, okay, if I get into this situation, I know I want to set up a plan B, plan C, plan D, just in, just in case plan A doesn't work out. I feel like there's a situation here where you're having to explore other options, okay? And that could feel a little uncomfortable because maybe you trusted something, trusted someone. Um, this is a situation where you thought that you could depend on something or someone. And there could have been an a action with the rug being pulled from up under your feet. This could have happened a number of times in your life, Pisces. So I kind of feel like that's why you went into the, let me have a plan B, plan C, plan D. But you know, if you're in a situation and you're really trying to do everything by the book and you're trying to do everything right, and then someone in the outside sources, for whatever reason, things happen that's sort of out of your control, it can be frustrating. So I do feel like that's where the spirituality portion come in. It come in. It's almost as if you're saying, I have to do something in a different way. I wasn't really prepared for that portion of it. But let me go, let me let me go back to what I know. I kind of feel like you wanted to trust something, trust someone, kind of just let your guards down for a little bit. No one wants to be in that fight or flight energy all the freaking time. Okay. It causes anxiety and so, um, and depression. And so I kind of feel like you are in some energy right now, Pisces, where you could be like, okay, I'm trying to do everything by the book. I'm trying to do everything the right way. But I do feel like there's some sort of underlining current or energy or influence that has um, sort of changed the tra 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 trajectory <laughs> of uh, your plans in some way, okay? So... This is where they don't let pride get in your way, where you're, you may have to, um, rely on someone or maybe you're calling in help. Maybe you're, uh, after so being so used to doing things on your own, um, uh, maybe you're having to, um, connect with places, people, things that you wouldn't normally have to, you know, connect with, or you just didn't want to. Okay. And that Leo energy is that fifth house energy. And so that could have a lot to do with things being in the spotlight. You know, you may have to kind of put yourself out there. Be, if you're an introvert, you may have to go into that extrovert energy and reach out, you know, to people or, or um, interact with different places or things that you would normally have to do because because you're so used to creating some sort of environment or outcome yourself, okay? Um, so this could even be the universe way of trying to get you to socialize a little more. And maybe that's not something you always feel so comfortable doing, okay? All right, so, but this is going to help some sort of personal issue reach a resolution. So let's see. I'm going to shuffle some cards. I'm going to buy my damn... Y'all see how I got this big <laughs> ah, got this big thing of water. I have child look. Honey, I ain't got time to keep stopping to pick up water, bottle, but water it is what I uh, no, I be getting my big things of water. Mm -mm. I'll be finished that by the end of the day. Give me another one. All right. Let's see what's coming out for you, Pisces. What is this card that flipped over? It's two cards that flipped over. What is this? Mm, the Lovers and the King of Cups. 
Mm. So Pisces, this may have something to do with your love life needing to heal. Let me find out y'all going through it, honey. All right, so Pisces, a personal resolution, a personal issue is going to reach a resolution here. There's something about some sort of major choices. A Gemini could be significant. Or maybe you have significant Gemini placement or your person does. But this is dealing with your heart chakra and this is also dealing with your third eye chakra. That King of Cups energy there, okay? So I do feel like there's going to be some sort of communication. Um, your connection could be being put to the test too. I kind of want to see what this influence is. There's something influencing your connection, okay? Um. There's going to be some sort of communication pertaining to what's shared between you and someone, whether it's your sexual values, how you see things between each other. Is this union perfect? You know, what's the long term goal between you and someone? Pisces, there's a situation here where I feel like with this King of Cups, which is a Pisces card. It's a masculine Pisces card. Masculine energy is about assertiveness without having to be overly aggressive, okay? Healthy masculine energy. The right amount of assertiveness. So setting healthy boundaries is a form of being assertive, you know? Um, saying how you feel with honesty, but still with integrity and respect is healthy masculine and feminine energy, okay? So I do feel like there is something that where you have a wealth of knowledge in a situation here, okay? There's some sort of trust. There's some sort of caring, healing that's going on. I feel like you have tried to give good advice to a loved one, somebody who you really do care about, somebody who you have deep emotions for. Now, this could be someone who you're either romantically involved with or you're not. It doesn't have to be a romantic connection. But this is also you being in touch with your feelings, your emotions, and acknowledging them, and not being afraid or intimidated um, to the point where you can't express them, okay? And that really do bring a healing and connections when you can say what's on your mind in a healthy way and you open up that space for someone else to be able to say what's on their mind so you all can be on the same page and you see things, whether you agree or disagree, but you can see things from their point of view and either you agree with it or you don't. And if you don't agree with it, it opens up the floodgates for communication. And this is what I'm seeing with this lover's car here. Okay, let me see what else. Let me see what some sort of influence which you all may need to discuss. The Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is an energy, like a single energy, an individual. This could be a person now. This is a person who vibrates in that individuality energy. Doesn't necessarily have to be a single person. But this is a person who had to work for everything they had. Something had to accumulate over a long period of time. This could be your, your knowledge of something. This could be your energy of, oh, look at all the dogs. They're so cute. Look at all the pups. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Wait a minute. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. <laughs> they are so cute. <laughs> it's like six of them. Okay. So the nine of pentacles here is an energy of focusing. That's that Virgo energy. You could be really trying to focus on your finances. You could be really trying to focus on building something over a long period of time. And if you look at this nine of pentacles energy, there's a bird there, right? So birds can speak of messages, okay? But there's a unique, this is a unique type bird. This isn't just a regular, like a sparrow or something like that. It has some red on it. So maybe you're seeing red cardinal birds or something, some sort of unique bird or something like that um but this there's some sort of sign this could be spiritual messages coming in from your spiritual guides um some of you all even may see i, I just heard an owl
now. So for if you're born in the month of February, I think owl, a owl is your spirit animal. But if you're born in March, I think a dolphin is your spirit animal. So, um, and I do know in the Native American um, zodiac, the wolf for Pisces is the spirit animal. So those you may have, you may have some sort of, some of you all may be seeing wolves, depending on where you live. Um, this could be in your dreams. This could be act in, act in, in, like if you live in Alaska or somewhere, you know, where wolves travel or something like that, doesn't necessarily have to be Alaska. It could, it could be anywhere, um, where wolves, um, are known to be. Also, um, this could also be owls. Maybe some of you all have been seeing owls. You have been seeing or you've been hearing owls or something like that. Um, they'll usually, cause owls are nocturnal animals. Okay. Um, they're nocturnal, nocturnal birds, meaning that they usually come out at night. So it's, it can be kind of rare unless you live somewhere where they frequent, where they hunt or you're out at night or something like that. But to see them in the daytime, is kind of rare. Some people associate it with a negative thing like death and all that stuff, but they also been associated in some cultures with something very positive. They're good omens. Okay. Um, just because they are sober, they're seen as good luck, prosperity that also represent a loved one that has passed on trying to connect with you, trying to reach reach out to you. And that could be why they're associated with death too, because it has something to do with transformation. They are uh, predator birds where they go out and they hunt at night. They have really good insight. I mean, uh, eyesight at night. Also, they represent watchers. Okay. So maybe there's a situation where you're watching someone or someone is watching you, but they've also, like I said, it's, it's, you have the good and the bad that's been associated with the owl. Look at that great day. He is so cute. He's exhausted too. His, <laughs> as big as he is, he's tired of walking. Where well, I'm at a, a place where there's a, I mean, it's a, you can walk for miles. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. So there is something associated like with the, maybe you're seeing an owl or maybe you've dreamed about an owl or something like that, but they have good and bad, um, uh, superstitions connected to them um, or folklore or something like that connected to them. Um, I, owls are also seen as wise birds. So a lot of knowledge could be coming to you. A lot of wisdom could be coming to you. A lot of information could be coming in around this time. Um, they're also connected to some people say witches use owls to uh, spy on their target. Okay. Also, some of you all may be seeing fairy circles. If you don't know what a fairy circle is, you can look it up. It's when you see mushrooms grow in a huge circle. Okay. Um, so there are, you know, warnings of not stepping in one. If seeing one has seen as lucky, you're supposed to go around the fairy circle eight times before you go in, but you cannot go around. I'm sorry, nine times. And I'm, let me correct that. Not, you're not supposed to go around it eight times or 10 times. It has to be exactly nine times before you step into to the uh, circle, but it's also seen, and that's if the fairies allow that to happen. Um, sometimes they will have mercy on you if you tell them what is going on in your life and you want it to heal, but it's best not to step inside of them. Anyway, um, but it's seen as lucky to see one, but it's unlucky to step inside one. So some of you all may even be seeing fairy circles. Okay. Um, so, but there is this energy here where, and I'm saying that because I'm looking at the pinnacles and the pinnacle sometimes reminds me of mushrooms. I don't know why when I first started doing tarot, I was like, hmm. But you know, the thing is that which made me think of the fairy circles was because I saw a fairy circle growing in my backyard two weeks before I started doing tarot. My cards, uh, I was given my cards a week after the fair, after seeing the fairy circle. That was my first time ever seeing one in my life. And I, and I looked it up and I said a fairy circle. And then I got my tarot cards a week later and I started doing tarot. So that's kind of like the history of I, I, everything is, is, done the way it's supposed to be done. That's why I said there are no coincidences in this life. But every time I saw, when I saw the pinnacle, when I opened up my deck, I said, mm, that looks like that fairy. They look like the mushrooms, you know? And so, um, 
some of you all are eating mushrooms or you're maybe you're a vegetarian and you cook with mushrooms a lot. Um, lion's mane mushrooms are some good mushrooms to cook. Like if you want that hardiness, like a steak or something like that, it's good to use those. Um, but anyway, um, I do feel like there is something that's growing for you. Okay. It's growing and it's sort of, it's taking time. It's um, growing over a long period of time with that nine of pentacles there. So I do feel like this has some sort of independence. It also, the nine of pentacles is also connected to your finances, your wealth. Okay. So this could be something that you're really focused on right now, you know, creating some sort of circle of wealth, something that's coming around, things coming full circle for you. All right. So let's see what else is coming out. Three of pentacles here. All right. So the three of pentacles is that Capricorn energy. You may be having some sort of, you're, you're being encouraged right now to collaborate. Okay. You're being encouraged right now to build something up. Um, this could be information. Maybe you're having three options too, okay? With that three of pentacles there, you may have three options in a situation here. The Capricorn rules that 10th house energy too. And 10th house has a lot to do with your career. Maybe you're deciding to change careers or thinking about how you can make more money in your career in some way. This is what you're being encouraged to do. Also, some of you all may be going through some training. This has been coming out a lot. You're learning something. You're studying. You're growing too. Um, you're trying to build some level of success in your life. And I do see this. I do see uh, this teamwork is going to kind of help you get out there. So maybe again, like I'll go back to the introvert and extrovert type energy. Maybe some of you all are introverts and you, you feel like doing things in an independent way has sort of worked for you. When it works, it's amazing. When it's work, when it works, it's great, right? But there are we're not put on this planet alone. We're not put on this earth alone. We're not in this realm alone. So this means that um, you are being and in, in, uh, you're being required to connect with other earthly beings, okay? Um, to help you grow and learn, and for you to learn from them, and from them, to, you know, so they can learn from you. So I do see some sort of determination when it comes to your goals, that being dedicated to something. Um, yeah, I also see you. There could be some sort of rewards connected to a collaboration, some sort of teamwork too. So this is why you're also being encouraged not to let your pride get in the way. Because the, it could be a missed opportunity if you are not willing to sort of step out of your comfort zone in some area of your life. Look at that. The star card, a major arcana. Nice energy here. Okay. So Pisces, you do have some sort of hope. You want, I, I see, you're trying to use your third eye. You're trying, I see you're using everything your confidence, you know, your knowledge from the past, past experiences. Um, I do see you're trying to create a calming, an inner calmness in some sort of creative way. You feel like when you're calmer, you can manifest what you want easier. I do see you trying to connect with spirituality or understand spirituality. This is also going to bring some sort of healing to you with the star card here. You may be surrounding yourself in tranquil environments or wanting to do this. Keep in trying to have faith in the future that a promise that you made to yourself or that the promises that's made in life or that you what you feel like you actually deserve will come to you. Um, the Page of Cups here. You all are going to get some good news. You got the King of Cups and the Page of Cups. A lot of emotional energy as well as like uh, earthly energy. So I do feel like you're you're finding some sort of balance to Pisces because when you think of earth energy, when you think of the earth, you think of a solid, stable environment, something you can stand on, right? That creates, that makes you feel like you can walk upon it and it's not going to waver like water do, okay? Um, when you stand in water, you, you know, sometimes you got to try to keep your balance unless you're floating and just going along with the current. But there's something that I see Pisces where you're finding your footing when it comes to your emotions and when it comes to your finances, this is something where it's going to bring you that love and comfort. I feel like some of you all have an inner child situation even within you, especially with that that um, 
full moon and cancer type energy, I feel like there's, because that could be connected to a maternal figure like your mom, you know, your home life where you grew up. There's something that needs to continue to heal. And the weird thing that I've noticed about healing, and this is from the external, from visualizing other people, as well as what I've experienced myself is sometimes we are put in situations where the very person who caused us the biggest, the greatest deal of hurt and trauma, um, or we felt neglected, or we felt um, unloved, unappreciated, we will be put in a position to show them all the love that they never shown, they never showed us, all the respect that they never showed us. Isn't that funny how life works? It's just, I've, I've witnessed it with my own eyes and other people's lives, and I have come across that myself. So I do feel like something is going to, but it, it's meant to heal you. It's no longer even about the other person and what they did, what they didn't do, what they said, what they didn't say. It's just really about you, healing you, okay? So I do feel like there has something to do with your inner child where you may be presented with a situation where you're going to either have to put your pride aside and say, you know what? You didn't treat me right. You know it. I know it. God knows it. My angels know it. Our ancestors know it. But I'm not going to do to you what you did to me. There's something that's going to bring about a healing in that situation. And this doesn't have to be with your actual mother. It could be, but it doesn't have to be with your actual mother. This could have, this could even have something to do with a mother figure, a maternal figure, your grandmother, your aunt, a, a supervisor that you worked for that could have, you know, been very respectful and, and considered you for something, but they chose not to out of spite or out of competition or just being plain old mean or something. I do feel like you're going to be presented with something that helps you heal, heal the inner child, heal that, that new, it's something, it's like a new situation. And I do feel like you're going to use your intuition when it comes to searching for whether you should do something or not. Okay. The answers are within you, Pisces. This is something, um, yeah, I like this energy. And this is also where that don't let pride get in your way. Because I really feel like this is almost like a test from your ancestors or the universe to kind of see how you're going to deal with something. Have you really healed? Are you holding on to animosity or grudges that you said that you're not holding on to? Because you know when you say, oh, I'm over that. Here come the universe. Oh, you're over it? Oh, okay. Let me present you with a situation to see if you're really over it. That's how the universe works. You be like, wait a dang old minute now. I didn't ask for another test. Like, look, wait a minute. Just put my pencil down. Can I, can I chillax for a moment? But the universe be like, wait a minute, I got you. Oh, you're over it? You're, you forgiven them? Oh, Okay, let's test you. That's how the universe works. I mean, like, you know what? Y'all are a hot mess. <laughs> That's how me and the universe be talking to each other. I be like, you look. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Give me a moment. Okay, all right. Then you got the page of pentacles here. So the page of pentacles is you're having some good news to come in. Okay. So something is going to come in and this could be through a partnership. It could be from a um, earthly sign. It could be, you have a lot of pentacles that come out, but this has a lot to do with your stability. Okay. Because the page of pentacles is connected to your root chakra. So it has a lot to do with um, how you feel stable in this life. You know, what makes you feel good in this life, your sex, your sex life, you know, it has a lot to do with your money. Okay. Um, what makes you feel safe okay in this life do you feel safe in someone's arm do they feel safe in your arms you know things like that there is some good news coming in about earthly matters it's also gonna have something to do with real estate this could have something to do with books negotiations it's about money or something like that about job opportunities um so you're being encouraged to keep an open mind when it comes to something that's new that's about to enter your life, new communication, new people, um, new opportunities or something like that. All right. OK, so this is going to be from someone who you can count on. OK, this may have a lot to do with a Virgo or 
um, a Capricorn, maybe somebody with earthly placements or, um, hold on, let me, let me clarify that. Okay. Then you have that Sagittarius energy here. So some of you all, this, some of you all may have a job where you have to relocate because of the job. Um, a lot of opportunities are going to come in. Some sort of action is going to need to take place here. You may have to hurry up and do something. Um, hurry up. <laughs> the universe is going to be like, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> okay all right so um there may be something where you're kind of like um something is gaining momentum in your life too your hard work is paying off maybe you're just waiting to get a sign or you're you may this could be even seeing synchronicities your hard work is paying off in different ways and i kind of feel like as it's paying off you're gonna you you kind of want to be in that energy of being able to celebrate or be celebrated um but some of you all are such introverts you just like to have those little moments to yourself where you're like oh i'm glad this this finally came through wow this worked out in my favor okay yes but you just don't want to share with the public okay but i do see you being encouraged to you're going to be encouraged to share something with someone share some good times some good moments some good memories with someone and it could just be with your immediate family it may be you know with your mom your dad your son your daughter your, your whoever right um a loved one or something like that um a partner that you've gone into business with but i do see some sort of progress or movement coming in but something again i said it in another reader is coming out right here too something is going to move very fast for you i like that um yeah let me see what else is coming out whoa look six of wands leo energy here yeah so i do see you being able to explore some of you all are going to explore where you want to move maybe you're looking at different options options are opening up you may have some like do i want to move here do i want to move there do i want to move there do i want to relocate do i want to move out of the country do i want to stay in the country do i want to have dual citizenship it's something something is going to open up for you also this could be job related where you may have to travel some of you all have a job you could be in working with uh airlines or something like that maybe you're flying somewhere but you also if you have a job, this could be travel agency, or maybe you have a job where you have to drive a light, where you have to travel to different locations or something like that. But with the six of wands, this is a beautiful energy here. This is that Leo energy. I definitely see some level of success and victory. I also see you getting, because the Leo, this, this six of wands here is that energy of leaving something like a, a like winning some sort of battle in your life this could be any sort of inner this could be internal battles that you were going through emotional battles that you were trying to deal with this could be love life that you know something you were going through but this is you being on your high horse you know like kind of just being celebrated people giving you some sort of accolades because of what you've accomplished what you've gotten through you not giving up on yourself okay so this could be a leo that's connected to this a jupiter energy here with the six of wands i love that energy for you pisces um at the bottom of the deck here you go you have this this uh knight of wands a lot of knights here a lot of pages as well so fast moving energy service like moving energy with communication so i this, this I, fi, I feel like a lot of communication is about to start coming in about something in your life pisces okay um sagittarius energy again you're going to be required to make some sort of a quick decisions I see negotiations coming into play. This is you could be negotiating your salary. This could be you negotiating property. Um, for my real estate agents out there who watch me, I love y'all. I love the. I love my all, all of y'all. I don't care who you are. You watch my channel, even if you subscribed or not. I'm I'm just sending y'all so much love and light, and I thank y'all for supporting me. You know through all of this. Okay. All right. So. Um, yeah, there's something going on out here where I see you're getting some sort of public recognition for for something that you're doing, for your hard work. Um, there's some sort of goodwill. Some of you all may be connected to fame in some way. I, I've heard people say, look, I don't want the fame. I just want the money. I feel you. You don't know. We, we here. 
we here. That's how I feel. But, you know, so, I mean, when you're from a small city, everybody know everybody, you know. So, I mean, it is what it is. But there could be some situation where you're in, in the spotlight in some way, okay? Um, you do have some well wishers or people wishing you well. And this is going to make you feel good inside. Um, that something is finally working out. Let me see what else is coming out. The seven of pentacles. I said something finally working out. A lot of pentacles in you. Some of you all have significant Capricorn towards or place uh, or a Virgo um placement. So I see some sort of emotional connection, something that's being that's really thoughtful. Your psychic abilities around this time is going to be heightened. That's why I say it's something about an owl. Some of you all may see an owl or you, in your dream or something like that. I feel like some knowledge is going to come in and it's going to come in fast or finances are going to change fast where you have to negotiate something fast. Your public image is going to increase in a good way. Some of you all are introverts and you're going to be put in the spotlight and it's it's going to feel uncomfortable and you, you're you going to have to like, you may be like, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, no, I don't want to public speak. I'm horrible at work. I don't want to do that. I don't want, but you're going to be required to do something. Okay. Or I don't want to meet all the people. I don't want to, you know, it's like you're, it's like the universe is taking you out of your comfort zone, but it's for your, it's for your good. It's to help you grow in some way. Um, it's also going to bring something to you that you've been hoping for. You know, maybe you're you maybe you're the type that's comfortable. Like when you have something good going on, you just want your little small circle to know about it. And you just like you happy with that. You like, I don't need the whole world to know about nothing good going on in my life. OK, let them think what they want to think. They don't need to know something. I feel like is going to be public and it's but it's good for you, Pisces. It's really good. Um. And I know for my introverts, that's like, it's like, what? I don't want to do that. I don't want to mind recognize me. I don't want to talk to people. <laughs> Pisces, that's how you feel. All right. All right, let me see. Seven of Pentacles here. Something is definitely going to grow for you in a big way. All right. Um... And like I said, this is for October. So this is this could be the second week, third week, fourth week, just you know. Um I do see something growing for you. Taurus energy, second house. This could be growing on a job. Maybe you've been waiting for something for a long time to turn around on your job. The seven of pentacles can also speak of inherit inheritance too. It also can speak of the manifestation of your ideas or your goals, something that you've been thinking about a lot. So around this time, keep your ideas in a very positive place. Picture yourself being where you want to be, how you want to be, who you want to be with, you know, things like that. Your perseverance in a situation with the Seven of Pentacles is going to pay off. There's some sort of profit coming to you. Some of you all may meet a prophet, somebody who's prophesizing something. You know, one time I, I I think I said it when I first started doing tarot. This was years ago. This is when I used to work in a doctor's office. And um, this guy, he was a patient. He came in. He was a pastor. He told me, he said, you're going to have. There's going to be three men. He said, first, he said, there's a light with you. And I said, a light. I thought, look, y'all, long before tarot, okay? Long before the spirituality journey. I said, a light. I thought he was talking about the light that I had sitting there. I said, yeah. I said, um, yeah, it's pretty bright. He said, no, it's a light with you. No matter where you go, it's a light with you. And I said, okay. And I just like nervously was like, okay. And he was like, can I tell you something? And I said, sure, go ahead. And he said, um, you're going to, you're going to have the option of three men in your life. He was like two of them. He said, three of them are going to propose to you, but one of them you're going to, you're going to really pay attention to. He said, it's not the first choice though. They're not your first choice. The first choice you're going to see is not the best for you. You're going to give them a chance, but they're not the best for you. One of them, you're going to just like, let it go. He said, but 
the 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 one somebody that you're going to, I'm trying to remember exactly how he said it. He said somebody that you're, they're not your first choice, but that is the person that's going to be your husband. And I was like, okay. I just, I kind of brush it off. And he said, but it's not going to happen when you think it's going to take a long time for that to happen. You'll see it. He said, and I'm talking decades from now, but I see it with you. And he said, and you have a light that travel with you no matter where you go. He said, and I think he was seeing like an orb with me because I've seen it come up times like I took a picture of myself and I'll see an orb. Um, times I'll record myself, but I just won't upload it to, and it'll be an orb around me. So I don't know whether it's my grandparents. I don't know what, you know, I don't know. Um, but it, I've never feared it though. It, it never made me feel uncomfortable or anything. I always, I feel comfort with it. So I feel like it's one of my ancestors, um, that already passed on. So Anyway, and that, I, and when I think back to what I've gone through in this life, I feel like that has been somebody who, who has always protected me, my guardian angel, too. Okay, so let's keep going. Mm. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. Okay. All right. So you got a lot of Pentacles in this reading, Pisces. And so you can see what I'm talking about. Nine of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. You got a lot of Pentacles in this reading, Pisces. Pentacles, Earth signs are dominating your reading. Virgo energy, especially. Um, so Virgo could definitely be significant. Virgo is your opposite sign, Pisces. But you got, and then you have Capricorn and Taurus. Um. Something about your stability you're going to get good news on. Because look at this page of Pentacles here with this Ten of Pentacles. Both of them are root chakra energies. Both of them are Virgo energies. There could be some sort of inheritance or unexpected financial windfall that's coming your way. Some sort of lump sum of money. It, it could be connected to wills or deeds or something. Some sort of trust fund. But this is going to create some level of stability for you. It's good news coming in. This could have something to do with a family business, a family home. Your responsibilities, I feel like, are going to increase in some way. Something has to do with old money, though. Old money, maybe it's money you should have gotten a, a long time ago, or it could just be old money if you come from a family that they have money and stuff like that. Maybe you just wasn't you know, in the loop or something. I don't know. But this looks like it's it's connected to some sort of old money, wisdom, something that has grown. You got the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. You got the seven of pentacles, three of pentacles. So there's some sort of leaping. You got three of pentacles going into the seven of pentacles. It's like four leaps in between. You got the seven of pentacles going into the nine of pentacles. That's two leaps in between. Then you got the nine going to into ten of pentacles. Yeah, so one. Okay. Hmm. What I four, two, one. Hmm. All right. Okay, Pisces. So something is going to reach a personal resolution here. Page of Pentacles can also speak of a new job. Now, the new job could have something to do with what you... Now, it could be taking on more responsibility, okay? It could be you have to take on taking on a taking care of a parent, taking on real estate, I mean, uh, property taking on being somebody power of attorney taking on um how uh, the the head of the household it could be not only don't just think of terms of a actual physical job that you're going to every day this could be 
the work, some work that has to be done, okay? All right, so your personal issues are going to reach some sort of resolution. You're getting some sort of public recognition because of this. This has a lot to do with the love that you have for someone and the love that they have for you. Where is the love you said you sent to me? <laughs> All right. Let's get some Kipper cards here. I know these birds like, I know she ain't coming to our environment. Making all this noise. Thing that you thought. Let's see. All right. Okay, Kipper Dad, behave. Let's see what else is coming out. Mm, high honor. The number 25 could be significant here. Five plus two is seven. Some of you all are seven life path. Okay. Um, Twenty-five, you think of Christmas Day, you know, for those who do celebrate Christmas. Or the 25th of October could also be significant here. The 7th of October could be significant. <clears throat> There's some sort of high honor, a lot of respect coming to at the bottom of the deck, sudden well. Ooh, look, seven, 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 eleven. Mmm. Some of you all have a windfall coming in. I see it. Ooh. Something was kept from you for a long period of time. Maybe I don't know whether it was put into like some sort of trust fund that you didn't even know about. Um, yeah, so something could have been kept from you. All right, but I see with this high honor here and sudden wealth, there you go, Pisces. The number 11 could be significant. So the number two, the number 11, the number seven, the number 25 could be significant here, okay? All right, I'm going to look at some one more thing, Pisces, for you, because I feel compelled to look at one more thing. I feel like another message needs to be put out here. Yeah, so put your pride aside when it comes to because something that's going to work out for you. This may be a test from the universe that I, I this is like, I, I keep saying maybe, but I really see this coming to you all, Pisces. There's a test. You know how, like I just said, somebody could have there may, I almost feel like somebody who you don't want to have a connection with, you've sort of washed your hands from. I mean, with you, you're kind of done or you have a way that you see them, that you perceive them. This could be a feminine figure where you've said, okay, I'm done with that. I'm like, this could be a mother figure. This could be your mother, or this could be like, a, just someone who was in your life. That's a mother figure, a feminine energy. If it is a masculine energy, they may vibrate heavy in feminine energy or something like that. Um, I feel like this person, when I say vibrate ha heavily, in fit, they may receive a lot. Maybe they have a lot, a lot of people People cater to them. A lot of people give to them, take care of them, things like that. Um, they may have a lot of women who cater to them, give to them and, you know, make sure that they're OK. So they may have accumulated a lot over a long period of time. But I do feel like this is someone who you don't have the best history with. And I feel like that test, you may be like, oh, I'm healed from that. I'm not tripping off of them. I'm not thinking about them. You know, this, that and the other. And here go the universe. Bam. Yes, you are. Because we about to test it. If you don't care, you don't love them. They don't it, it don't affect you. You're you're you forgiving them. You're over everything that has happened. I'm about to test you. That's how the universe works. And I feel like you're going to be required to. It's it's really going to show you have you really healed from something, okay? Because this may be somebody who left you high and dry, who now, with everything that they have, somehow. They need you, the person who they thought they would never need in a million years. You understand? Somehow they need you. And now it's on you whether you're going to be there or not. 
Or are you going to hold on to that grudge and say, heck to the nah, I don't care, I ain't doing this. But there's some sort of spiritual prosperity or financial prosperity or something connected to it, okay? And I'm not saying that you should do anything for money. I'm just saying you should do it for the right reasons. But this also is going to bring some sort of inner healing with you, okay? It's really going to show you that how life works. You know how life can be a little tricky. And when we think we're over something, we're presented with it again to see if we're really, have we really forgiven it? Have we really forgiven that person? Are we really over that? Have we really healed from it? Okay. All right. So that's why I said something is going to reach us a personal resolution and you are going to be required to put your pride aside when it comes to money. You may be like, I ain't doing nothing for that person. They bet not ever, never, ever, ever ask me for nothing. And then here they come. Pisces, I really need your help right now. Is this something? Can you do this for me? You may be like, you know what? I, you may be fighting the air. Child, honey, you may be fighting the air, honey. <laughs> <laughs> the universe is funny like that to play games with you all right but it's to help you bro let's i'm gonna pull one card for you pisces with this um and i'm i'm gonna see what's on the bottom of the deck let me shuffle these cards Again, this is for the month of October. Take what applies to you, leave the rest. These are general readings. Thank you to everybody who supports this channel. Hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Stay subscribed. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Love you so much. Relationships. This is connected to your the relationships in your life. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Somebody is, is coming back in your life right now because honestly, they're meant to help you grow. Okay. Um, this could be a new group of people or something like that. I do feel like you may be changing locations or changing something in your life um you may be connecting with healthier people or people who really help you be a better person and help you grow in some way shape form or fashion all right so that was that one card i'm going to shuffle it and i'm going to see what's on the bottom without having to look at it all right blame I accept responsibility for my well-being, okay? So this is you not blaming someone anymore. This is this is the test that's coming to y'all, Pisces. Y'all can believe what I say. They ain't got to believe it. I see it as clear as day. There's a test coming to you. This could be someone who blamed you for all the problems in the family. This could be someone who, I mean, put the blame on you for everything, Blamed you for being a horrible mom, a horrible dad. Blamed you for the problems on the job. Blamed you for the problems in the community. Who may need to come back and talk to you and need you in some way. Are you able to forgive them? Have you forgiven them? Because I feel like this is somebody who, this wasn't some little fly by night Joe where you like, I don't care. I ain't look, whatever. It, that ain't that. This is somebody who, where it cut deep when they blamed you. It could have affected your life. And you may be saying, oh, I heal from that. I ain't tripping off of it no more. It don't matter no more. That's just who they are. The universe is going to test you to see if you really healed from it. Because if you didn't heal from it, healing is about to take place. may feel a little uncomfortable, but it's going to take place so you can grow and be out of that energy of letting someone else's, the past, whatever it was, keep power over your spirit, okay? All right, so... I see that prosperity coming in. Like I said, this could be spiritual prosperity or financial prosperity. It really looks like both to me. Um, so I see that with you, okay, Pisces? I'm sending you beautiful Pisces and Cross Watchers love and light. Thank you so much for all of your help. Be sure to you, make sure you have that, that uh, notification bell on. So when I upload these readings, you can hurry up and click on them and check them out. Okay. I will be uploading, uploading shorter readings as well as longer readings. Okay. All right. So thank y'all so much for loving me. Thank you to everyone who has donated to the channel. Thank you to everyone who has sent me those beautiful emails showing me that the, letting me know that the readings resonate with you. Um, and thank you to all the love and the prayers that you have given to me through the, through the, years okay all right all right talk with you amazing pisces and cross watchers another time